today in 10 Minute Crafts, I'm going to show you how to put chalkboard paint on your sketchbook. So for this project, you're going to need a sketchbook, something to put your paint on, like that plastic plate, and then we have chalkboard paint, and then foam brushes, and then some white printer paper, or any kind of paper, just so that um, I'm going to put it inside the book when I'm painting, so that it doesn't leak through and get on the page. So on the rules of the chalkboard paint, it says that you have to shake it well. So now that it's shaken really well, I'm going to put some of this um, chocolate paint on the plastic plate. So then I'm going to take some of this on my sponge and put it all horizontally. I mean vertically, sorry. Just a pretty light coat. And I like the foam brushes because they don't leave um, paint lines or marks. I'm just gonna paint this whole thing. And it's gonna take me a little bit longer because um, I'm gonna have to paint on the other side, so it'll be like an additional hour because I want it to be dry before I flip it on the other side. And then I have these papers here, just so that it won't get on my book. And they already have some paint on it, so I'm glad that I chose to do that and didn't just directly paint on it. So I'm just putting a thin layer. Again, because I'm going to have another layer on top, so it doesn't need to be a ton. Well. And then you're going to apply two coats, one vertically and one horizontally. Then you're going to have um, let it dry one hour between coats, and then you're going to let it... Um, cure for 24 hours. Then you're going to lightly rub chalk over the entire surface to condition it. So I painted over the first, or the top of it, and you can already see that it's drying, but still I'm going to wait an hour and then do the other side. And I didn't do this spine, um, and I'm going to do that after this side is done. Then I'll flip over and do the other side, and then I'll paint it then. I finished chalkboarding the front and the back and the spine, and um, you watched me do it no, vertically, and then I did it horizontally on my own. But now I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do after this. And it's, like it said, kind of condition it. So let me open up this chalk thing. Ah! <laughs> if I can get it open. So I'm using some chalk that I got at Michael's for a dollar. And it has 24 pieces in it. So that's a pretty good amount. All right, I'm going to grab one. And it wants you just to go, like, down like that a little bit. Just gonna condition it a little bit, like that. You can totally see it's chalkboard painted, and so I'm just gonna cover all the surfaces that have chalkboard paint it, on it. Like that. And then it wants you to go over it with a damp cloth. I have this damp cloth right here, and I'm just going to put it right on where I put my chalk. I'm not sure why it wants us to do that, but um, I just wanna make sure I'm following all the rules that the bottle came with. So there, the other side. So I wiped it off with a damp cloth, and now I'm going to show you how you can decorate it. I mean, I have different kinds of these. I have a pink one and a green one, and there's also a blue one, which I did not buy. And then there's also these Craft Smart chalk markers, which um, you can put on your chalkboard, and they will come off, but it takes a lot more like scrubbing and other things like that to get them off, but they do come off. And then we have these which um, do not come off of chalkboard, but if you wanted to not do all the hassle of chalkboard painting your um, sketchbook, you can just use these markers from American Crafts. Um, they will just make anything black, and if you write on anything black, it'll make it look like it's chalk, but it's actually not. So you can totally use that, but they will not come off chalkboard, but they're still very awesome. So then you can decorate it with anything you want. Thank you for watching. If you want to, you can comment down below if you have any other craft ideas you want me to do. Um, you can like this video and tell others about how awesome this video is. I'm kidding. Um, but thanks for watching.